Hi Cancer, welcome to your first half of August general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, um, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Need is there, a ton of information. Decks I'm using, personal readings, anything you need to know is down there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. I could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. And I love to do this. So let's see what we have for Cancer for the first half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. So, Cancer, this is a Zodiac Oracle, and all the decks have been uh, pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off-camera, so um, I do shuffle more on camera. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we may get a planet, sign, or element, and we'll see how that affects your reading, and if you don't resonate with whatever comes out, if you're not dealing with uh, a certain sign that comes out or anything like that that is totally fine this is sort of like just a little extra bonus sometimes we do get a um, element energy or a planet energy and that can play a factor into your reading so we'll see what we get here see what we get for cancer for the first wow half of august what do we have for cancer for the first half of august spirit please what kind of energy may be around some Cancerians the first half of August? I just want one card for Cancer, please. Just one. There we go. Libra. And I just did Libra's reading. And now we have Libra. So some of you could have a Libra around you in some way, shape, or form. Or maybe you have Libra in your chart. Um, could be a rising sign or moon sign. Um, if you don't know any Libras, that's totally fine. Uh, the Libra card in the major arcana is justice, which is about, you know, causes justice. And you see the scales here about balancing out the, you know, scales, getting justice, serving justice in some way, shape or form. So if it's not Libra energy, it could be maybe something is going to be balanced out. Maybe some sort of justice will play a factor into your reading. We shall see. And I'm just noticing here, Libra is number seven, and seven can talk about um, patiently waiting for something, confusion, um, deceit, or sneaky energy, um, and being defensive. So I don't know if that has any kind of meaning for you, but let's see. Let's see. With this deck here, we, we will get your main message, see what's going on with you, Cancer. All right, one card for Cancer Spirit, please. What's going on with Cancer? The first half of August. What's going on with Cancer? The first half of August. In the pre-shuffle, I did see fire, which is about passion and excitement, and then I did see celebration so I don't know if that means anything to anybody one card for cancer what's going on with cancer the first half of August there we go summer solstice radiance and we are in summer season right now in the summer solstice so and this is the Sun card major arcana and the Sun card is all about happiness, uh, peace, and joy, and success, and victory, happy home and family, growth, expansion, enlightenment, radiant energy. Everything's positive about the sun energy, healing, and growth, and expansion. Wow. This is something very good time for you right now during the summer season, Cancer, and we'll see what's going on. Bottom of the deck, we have mountain strength, and that is so funny because summer is the sun here and the sun represents Leo and the strength card in the major arcana also represents Leo so there may be an obstacle being removed for you 
something that was hard to get over, a big hurdle, a big obstacle here that you finally had the strength to overcome, get through, were able to move this obstacle out of your life in some way, shape, or form. And now it's a very happy time for you. Being strong like this mountain also, you know, sticking to your, um, sticking to whatever you're doing here, sticking to your um, security and foundation here for your happiness. Wow, I don't know, let's see. Let's see, very strong, firm energy and a very happy, joyous time during the summer season. Or cancer. All right, this card wanted to come out, so let's see what we have. So we have the Nine of Swords energy. Well, your energy, so that is stress, anxiety. So whatever situation you were in before, I feel like um, there was a lot of stress, anxiety, nervous energy, anxiousness, uh, maybe not being able to sleep, kept you up all night thinking, what am I going to be able to overcome this? Am I going to be able to move this obstacle out of my way here? But the nine, and then you have 10, which is the ending and completion of something, and then you have one, which is a brand new beginning. All right, so why is Cancer in this nervous, anxious energy? What else? Two of Wands and the Page of Coins. So, so you're also here, Two of Wands, Fire Energy, Earth Energy with the Page of Coins. So looking at new opportunities, looking in new directions. Um, you have Two of Wands here, which speaks of looking and making plans, um, making decisions, going in a whole new direction. And, you know, for your stability, your security here. And looking, you know, maybe an offer coming in or you offering something to somebody else. Or, you know, it could be just she's grasping onto this coin here, like finally getting your stability back. You know, finally saying to everyone, I'm finally stable again. I finally know what I want to do. I know what direction I want to go in. I've chosen my path, whole new direction. I've grasped it in my hand. I'm feeling strong, steady, and secure, and stable now to move in this new direction. Okay, so removing some sort of obstacle here, and it might have happened, you know, you probably overcame this and removed this through like, you know, I'm getting kind of like winter energy into spring, and now summer, right now, totally open and free and happiness, success, and joy, and a total uh, happy time right now. So let's see what the actual situation is. So we have the Hanging Man, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the King of Swords. So the Hanging Man is your energy, Cancer or Pisces. And then we have the Page of Cups. And then we have the King of Swords. So this is water energy again. And now we have the King of Swords, which is air energy. And here's where the Libra comes in. So maybe, you know, maybe, you know, so the King of Swords energy, King or Queen can, re can represent like lawyers, judges, um, you know, authoritative figures such as, um, you know, police departments and armed forces and things like that. So maybe, you know, things were in limbo for you during the time of this obstacle, not knowing, you know, what's going to happen, you know, where's this going to go? Things kind of like on a break, on pause, just hanging in limbo with the hanging man. And now you have the page of cups here. So I don't know if, because we have two children here. I mean, this could have been, maybe you just went through a divorce, um, but we have two children here. So I don't know if this involved children and the son can also represent children. So, you know, maybe that's where all the stress and anxiety came in, too. Also about your about children, and wondering, am I going to be able to move on from this in this new path with my children, and being you know on limbo and on pause, 
about this because we have these two children here a, you know a little boy and a girl and pages can represent children also communication and then you have the king of swords so this is you know i feel like the you know the judge or the lawyer bringing in that justice i had said with the libra card bringing in and serving you your justice in some way and relaying that message to you with the page of cups energy something that's very um brings you a lot of peace and harmony and uh happy um feelings with the cups energy which is about love and emotions so i feel like you finally get peace and clarity and you're just as served with this king of swords energy because he has his sword pointing down like justice has been served that's kind of like the messages i'm getting here so i mean this is a general reading but if you can fit it into a personal situation that does involve a um well i don't want to say a love situation but i'm feeling this more as like i don't feel like this would be a love reading if this is about divorce but i feel like you know whatever you went through with the justice system you finally got your justice you know you had to go through a period of limbo and waiting before you could move on in a new direction which left you totally stressed out wondering will this mountain you know being strong and stable and grounded like this mountain but also will this obstacle ever be removed so i can move on with my children or my family in some way and i feel like now during the summer solstice you're getting your justice wow all right, so let's see what your advice is in this situation. So we have the Six of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, so again with the children. Wow, <laughs> you see the children there. And this is like thinking back on the memories of your family, your children, maybe your own childhood memories, your child, what your childhood was like for you in your family and wishing maybe, you know, this could have worked out in your current situation that you know could have had that energy but um can also talk about past lives but i'm i'm not really getting that i'm just feeling nostalgia memories you thinking of your childhood your you know your upbringing what it was like with your family and now this also represents children also so you know maybe your children are a little older now or maybe you know maybe they are young i don't know but this is memories of the past definitely here and then you have the eight of coins so this is telling you to hold on to all those precious memories that you had from your childhood let that give you inner strength moving on and know that you do have this connection you see the two children here two children here wow that you do have this loving connection with your own children and to keep working with the eight of pentacles energy here you know again maybe you know waiting for the messages waiting for the justice to come in um but keep working keep striving forward don't give up kind of energy or maybe you know it, you will have to work hard in order to provide for your children for your family now if you're a solo situation with your children um this is telling you to keep working hard keep going forward keep moving forward don't give up maybe you look into uh, better opportunities maybe something that will pay more money because um, you see this man maybe this is like redoing your resume or something like that looking at other opportunities maybe even mastering a new skill a new craft to maybe pro better, uh, provide better for your family but there definitely is a strong bond and connection here between not only you and your family growing up between you and your children now and you worked hard for your family and you will continue to work hard moving forward because you have this strong mountain energy of being firmly planted and grounded and having that inner strength maybe you have a lot of earth in your chart also all right so let's see what your outcome is now libra so we have the empress wow and this is at libra i said libra i'm sorry cancer so this is Libra in Taurus. So you could have, you know, Libra in your chart 
or this is just the energy. So this is being that loving, nurturing, caring, giving uh, mother, uh, daughter, um, the empress here, being in your power. You know, maybe you will move on here and continue to work hard and actually move up the corporate ladder in some way and be your own boss or be a higher ranking uh, authority, not authority, but higher ranking boss or something like that. Well, you, you will bring in more money. This is about growth, expansion, the Empress. Um, um, maybe you're expecting another child or maybe you want a bigger family, you know, in the future. But she embodies all the queens of the deck, truth, honesty, love, compassion, um, passion, strength, and uh, stability and growth and expansion as you know your worth. You will know your worth. You will know your value with you, your family. You will find peace and happiness. You'll be standing in your power as with the strength energy. Wow. So let's get more clarity of what's going on here for you, Cancer. The Empress. So now we have the Emperor and the Empress. Wow. So you may be meeting somebody else in the future who will be like a divine counterpart that will be equal to you and will also help provide for the family who may, um, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if the father is like totally out of the picture and maybe you had to gain soul custody and now you will have somebody come in here who will want to step in and take on that emperor father-like role for your children or this is also you um, maybe going into partnership with somebody and owning you know your own business you know maybe with a male person so you'll have you know you have the emperor and the empress so being in control being in charge um, and that sort of thing wow or maybe the person that you were involved with before was a very controlling person um, maybe dragged you down and that's why you had all this anxious nervous energy but now you know your worth you'll never be treated like that again so there's different storylines there so whatever resonates for you so let's get more clarity now the six of wands so here you are fire energy again moving forward with that passion drive ambition and being very successful and victorious and just having a lot of success here wow death so yep I feel like there was some kind of major ending here death Scorpio energy um, is about endings some sort of death of just complete ending of something here but then this is a rebirth a renewal um, a transformation period I think for you of regaining your stability, your worth, your value out of this whole situation. Just totally, totally ending it all. That whole situation, it's dead, it's gone, it's buried. And now, you know, you've transformed, you've, you know, rebirthed yourself. And um, now you know your worth and value. Now you're very strong with the strength of the mountain there. All right, so let's get another one. The hermit Virgo energy so yeah you might have had to do a lot and I also got the message of maybe this person that you were with maybe that was the Emperor energy who was very controlling maybe didn't let you leave the house maybe you felt very secluded and um, withdrawn maybe they like to keep you hidden away for some reason either that or you've done all this introspective work and thought long and hard about what you needed to do maybe in this whole situation and really seeing the light here that you did what was best for you in this situation. The Hermit really goes in and does that in, inner work, introspecting, introspective work, thinking, um, planning, healing, all that kind of energy. Becoming enlightened to what you really need to do as with the sun energy here. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Ten of Coins. So exactly, you will have, you will, you know, there's no need to worry here. You will have the whole Ten of Coins. You will have abundance, wealth, prosperity, a happy home and family life here with the Ten of Pentacles. You'll never have to worry here. 
So if you strive to work hard and move up the corporate ladder or just do something here, you will have all the success, victory, growth, expansion, wealth, and abundance, and you will never have to worry and you'll be able to provide for your family. Wow. The two of coins. So, you know, maybe a juggling act for a while uh, while you you know, come to terms with this, you go through this process and this process and have a new beginning and then juggling, you know, maybe work and maybe furthering your education and your children and all their activities and all these different things, your feelings, your emotions. So there may be a juggling act, you know, for a while here until you balance things out. And then you have the two of swords. So I think I'm feeling in the past here, you were very indecisive about what you needed to do that was best for you, your future, your children here. You know, being kind of blind to the fact that, you know, maybe the best thing for me to do is make this decision here of moving on from this, whatever it was for you. Three of Swords, yeah, so very painful, uh, heartbreak, sorrow. Maybe your person had another person on the side. The Three of Swords usually indicates a third party situation here and not I'm getting a feeling and not only did they make maybe try to control you they keep you hidden they also were cheating on you I mean a lot of negative energy I'm surprised we didn't get the devil here if that's not what happened um I just see you moving on and maybe becoming your own boss or maybe becoming um partnership with somebody else and owning some sort of business but whatever ending you went through definitely here was a lot of pain and heartbreak and um, a lot of hurt here and sadness. But you have the Nine of Cups, so you will have your wish fulfillment. You will have happiness and joy. You will be independent. You will be uh, abundant. All your dreams will come true. Nine of Cups, water energy. And the Seven of Cups. So yeah, maybe, you know, confused for a while or you were confused in the past about what you needed to do, how you needed to get out of it, um, what kind of plans you needed to make, you know, very confused kind of conflicted energy. The magician, exactly. So finally realizing, you know, I can make these choices here and manifest my way out of this situation here. And this is Gemini and Virgo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So you finally realize I have all the tools within me to break this chain, to break this, to break out of this and manifest a whole new beginning for myself and my family. The lovers. So, you know, you could have thought this person was your soulmate. Um, again, the lovers can sometimes speak of making a decision between two people. So again, maybe, you know, with the three of swords there, they had somebody on the side and you found out they had another lover. And that's when you decided to really totally end it here. Yep. With the five of swords energy, this is like, you know, I've had enough. I'm finally standing up. I'm taking the sword. I'm cutting myself out of this situation. I'm standing up with truth and clarity. I'm not taking any more BS. I don't care what I have to do. Uh, who I have to do it to, oh, you know, I'm just going to do what's best for me kind of energy. Yep. And even communicating that, really telling it like it is, I've had enough and this is what I'm doing. And taking that action, this is your energy cancer, taking that action and moving forward with a lot of uh, success and victory and manifesting your way out of that situation. Wow. I mean, I could keep going, happy home and family here, total happy fulfillment, happiness and joy now with the Ten of Cups. Wow. So good for you, Cancer, if this is your situation here. I feel like you did the, what was best for you and your family in your situation. And I see you uh, maybe even, uh, you know, furthering your education, or even making more money, becoming, you know, an Empress energy of either owning your own business or being like a higher boss or something like that. And it could be all happening now for you. Wow. All right. So let's see. 
let's see. Let's get some extra guidance for you, Cancer. Extra guidance, extra advice and messages for Cancer for the first half of August. What do we have for Cancer? The Horse King, Assistance and Control. So this is a card of, you know, realizing that, you know, you can't do everything yourself. You can't control everything. You can't do everything yourself. So it's time to ask for help. Um, maybe you try to get out of the situation on your own. And finally, you realize I had to ask for help. I had to ask for assistance. I couldn't control the whole situation here. And this is telling you that, you know, asking for help was probably the right thing to do. Or if you're going through a lot right now, trying to balance out your energy and moving forward now in your new life, that it's okay to ask for help. That you can't try to control everything. And if you're feeling like overwhelmed, that it's okay to ask for help from friends, family. And we have six there, which is a very healing, balancing number. So I think in order to heal and balance yourself out, um, you may need to ask for help or maybe even assistance like um, governmental assistance or something like that for now until you get more on your feet. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The eyes of beauty, positive expectations, clarity. So exactly, seeing everything now, seven again through all the illusion, deceit, um, confusion, waiting period, um, all that energy, you know, keeping a positive mindset, um, keeping that faith, hope, and optimism that everything will be fine. Now seeing things with truth and clarity that what you did was actually the best thing for you and your family moving forward. So, uh, Cancer, good for you if this is your situation. And um, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box for, uh, down below. Maybe past readings will resonate for you more. And I'm wishing you well on your journey here and sending you many healing vibes. And uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, as with the sum summer solstice here, is to always, always shine your light.